So restorations exist to support survivors of human trafficking and commercial sexual exploitation through our residential program here at Nancy's House where we house up to three women who have exited human trafficking and also through our survivor-led peer support program. Residents can stay for up to two years. Staff help them identify goals and create a care plan. Peer advocate Michelle Fugarelli is honored to be a part of the community they've built. As a survivor herself, she works with residents and supports their individual needs. It's a really hard aspect to reintegrate back into society. Um, a lot of these individuals have lost life skills as those developmental years were spent in exploitation. So it's very important for us um, to be that standing block to help them learn these life skills. So financial literacy is huge. Um, going to the gym, it can be really traumatizing to go out and new experience, discover bus routes. Our goal here, especially for the residents here at Nancy's house, is through their two year transition that they become truly independent. And if we can help them um, and manage some triggers and traumas along the way, that's our, all we're here for. While they just welcomed a third resident, there is still an extensive wait list from Halton and Hamilton. This is something that is so unique. However, we need so much more of homes like this. I can personally say that I am live in the Halton region. Um, I've lived in the Halton region through my exploitation and now after. Um, I love my community. I love to be a part of this. Affordable housing is a huge problem, but furthermore, to have a home that provides wraparound care is essential to healing. If I had the opportunity to come to a place like this, it would have excelled my healing journey astronomically faster um, without additional struggles and additional traumas. So to be a part of something so unique is so powerful, but unfortunately, one home is just simply not enough. We really need more resources. To help raise funds, on Friday, October 20th, they're inviting you to participate in a murder mystery dinner at Carmen's in Hamilton. It's our first dinner fundraiser that we're doing, which is great because this year we're also celebrating 10 years of restorations. The funds raised will go towards utilities and staffing of Nancy's house. And also to provide opportunities for survivors living out in the community to come together and build a community of survivors through our peer support program. Reporting for Halton News. I'm Nikki Wesley.